All right, so you may or may not know, but for some reason, British Cycling have this with national championships. It's the first one last year. In my opinion, it's a bit lame. Um, I don't think they should give national bands to Zwift racing because it's not the same as actual racing. But anyway, they do it. And obviously, people take it seriously. A lot of pros turn up, etc., etc. And Cam Jaffers, who I guess all of you have heard of because he's pretty big on YouTube, won it. And, you know, obviously, no one thought anything of it. The final, I haven't had to weigh in. You know, they're on standard kickers, etc., etc. So there's no way of cheating. So everyone's like, oh, fair enough. And then, I'm not sure if you watch the video, go watch it probably before mine, um, because he explains exactly what has happened uh, in, sort of, he explains what has happened in this investigation. Anyway, as you can see on the screen, Cameron Jeffers got banned for cycling for six months, £250 fine, and also um, he's been disqualified from the race. And James Phillips, who I do know a little bit, raced against him a couple of times, um, is now won the Zwift Nationals of last year, 2018. So no, no, it'll be this year actually, it's 2019. So anyway, what do I think of this? So I'm gonna spend half this video defending him, half of them like just saying it's completely his fault because in, in reality I think it's somewhere in between. Um his video, I okay, first I'm just gonna attack him, second I'll defend him. So this is his statement here. He says that he was made on the 8th of April about this Tron bike thing, he used an ant simulator and all the rest of it, and then basically well, sorry, pause the video if you want to read it, but it's, it's not that exciting. And then he says, you know, I like e-racing, etc., etc. You know, it's, it's all a good thing. So my first thoughts of this, like, coming just from a very cynical viewpoint and exactly what I think. So his video basically said he was innocent. He didn't realize it was bad. He didn't think that using an ant simulator on Zwift would be a bad thing to do. I mean, number one, everyone knows cheating in Zwift is a huge issue. So doing anything like that, especially, like, when you're... He's not dumb. Like, he sort of appears to come off really dumb in this video. And like, oh, you know, I just didn't know. It's just the Tron bike. It's not in the fast bike. It's like, no, 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 no. But everyone knows that you can cheat in Zwift. Everyone knows that you know it's, it's a very contentious issue. So going anywhere near it, I think, is obviously like really stupid. Just like not even even if you didn't mean to cheat, it's incredibly dumb. But I think obviously he did want to cheat. Obviously he wanted an advantage. So I don't really understand his defense at all. That oh I didn't know they made up the rules afterwards. So yeah yeah, but you have cheated. Like using the Ampli simulator is not within the Zwift terms of service, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that defense doesn't really like work in my opinion. And that what he should do. What he should have just said is, you know, I cheated, this is it, you know, James Phillips, well done, he's, he's won it. Um, I can't race for six months, but to be honest, it's not that bad because there's no races on in the winter anyway. I'm going to train again, put it behind me, you know, we learn from it, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And so his video is very much, um, he's the victim, it's, you know, his, his hard work, etc, etc. You know, I've really helped British Cycling out. It's like, yeah, but you cheated, you've made their Zwift Nationals look stupid because already Zwift Racing and Zwift Nationals is under attack by a lot of people. They're now in the World Championships next year in it. Which again, I think is stupid. Um, and you know, he's he's doing this, and it's like, well, you're just showing how easy it is to cheat in Zwift. Okay, it's not the big, biggest cheating. Actually, I'll go move on to that when I'm started to defend him. But you know, you cheated nonetheless on Zwift. You knew exactly what you were doing. You can't just claim innocence. You know, the person was riding at 400 watts, I think it was, or something. Or like he was riding at a set power output for ages to try and get this Tron bike. To get a Tron bike, you need 50,000 meters in elevation, as it says here. And you know that that's. The whole point is it would make him go faster. I guess someone must have looked at his rides because he deleted them afterwards um, and been like, hang on a minute, you can't just ride at 400 watts for like two hours or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's not happening. And so also, like, even if you could physically, you're not going to be able to sit on 400 watts. You're going to have a little bit of variations. So anyway, that's another way that's obviously wrong. Um, and also it just makes Swift look stupid in the future. I think he knew exactly what he was doing and that his ban is 100%. Like, that's, that should be the case. Um, but then on the other hand, so that's my sort of negative point. Generally, that's, I'm more on the side of, you know, he, he's bad boy and shouldn't have done it. But on the other side, like, he is right that there was no law in place to ban this at the time. So he didn't actually know he was doing anything wrong. Like, if you're going on a pure, not moral, but pure legal standpoint, there was, like, no rules on this. It was just, like, Zwift was very new. There was no rules. Um, I'd also say the other thing is it's stupid that British Cycling didn't have standard equipment. So yeah, everyone had to race the same bike. I guess maybe some people would say, well, that's sort of skill, but... You know, maybe they could have done it so that everyone was at level 25, everyone was at the same point, everyone had that 50,000 meters climbing so that you could pick any bike, and then that would re remove that issue. Because you think it is a big issue. If you've been racing Zwift for ages, you might have better equipment than someone else. And it's like, yeah, the whole point of Zwift is that you want to have it so that it's sort of a fair playing field. It's not like on the road where, you know, obviously positioning and all the rest of it comes into place. On Zwift, you just want it to be pure numbers, and that's it. And obviously, there's the gamification with the um, power-ups, etc., etc. But... Generally, that's what you want to have. So I think you know, he has a fair point on that. Like, you know, they should have had fair equipment. He didn't actually cheat, like, 
the equipment wise. It's not like he dodged his numbers. All he did is just unlock a piece of equipment for the bike, which is what I thought it was before. Because so they released the British Cycling released a statement saying he was used previous stuff in game to help him cheat in the final. So I knew it was going to be that because there's nothing else you could really do. Um, there were no laws against it at the time. Did it even give him an advantage? You know, I mean, in that way, it is is a bit ridiculous. And also, I mean, for British Cycling, you're like. You just think, you know, could you have just brushed it under the carpet? Maybe, I mean, obviously it's very harsh on James Phillips, but like, you know, did you really need to make it into a joke? But anyway, those are the two sides. My overall opinion is that, like, he knew exactly what he's doing. He can try and pretend um, that he's a victim here. It's been a very long and tiring financial training process. It's like, well, yeah, it is, but you cheated, so, like, who cares? Like, it was your decision. It's not like, you know, someone messaged you and said, oh, do you want to use a, do you want to use a bot? It's like, yeah, I mean, it's like, if someone messaged you, like, oh, it's not the same extent. It's like, wait, do you want to do blood transfusions? It's like, well, I didn't know they're against the law. I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, but it's just against the spirit of the thing. Like, I don't know. It just seems seems unbelievable that he didn't know it. Um, and it seems unbelievable that he's, you know, claiming all this innocence and stuff. But at the end of the day, it barely matters. Like, I mean, he maybe will get sacked from his team. I don't know. But, like, 250 quid for him, he'll make that in, like, less than, you know, a week or a bit more than that on YouTube. So that's calm. Six months off racing. I mean, like, you're going to race some early season classics in the UK. <laughs> um like, not really anything big, and you're going to do Zwift Nationals, which, to be honest, no one really cares about that much anyway, so, at the end of the day, like, have all the cheating you could have done, mate, you got off very lightly, in my opinion, they could have banned him forever, they could have properly, like, really got in for it, but, I mean, like, yeah, maybe some people think it's a bad punishment, but for me, it's, like, slap on the wrist, it's like, <laughs> just don't do it, boy, because I think British Cycling, no, they don't really have much jurisdiction, and if they gave him a really harsh one, he'd probably take it to the Court of Arbitration of Sport, and then maybe he'd have something, um, yeah, I mean, his YouTube video is already on, like, 15k, so he's made, he's made a fair, fair whack of that 250 quid back already, so, you know, like, I, I don't feel feel bad, that bad for him, like, you know, it's, it is what it is, Ziff Racing's dumb, like, you can't have it, I've already made a video when someone, the pro turn up and weighed 8 kilos, it's like, it's like me going around 55 kilos and then turn up, it's like, oh, 62, oh, I didn't know, mate, I must have just put on some weight, like, not my fault, it's like, what? And then there's so many other things you can do, like if you calibrate, like there's so many ways to cheat. So on your power meter, you calibrate it and then do up your pedals afterwards. It's going to change the readings. I'm not sure exactly how you'd want to do it, but if you, you know, if I had, an, if I wanted to win Zwift Nationals and qualify for it, you know, like, I'd, I'd look into that. I'd be like, all right, how can we do it? Because, you know, it might change it a little bit, but that's enough. Like, I mean, like, because obviously they ask for Zwift verification of your power, et cetera, et cetera. But like, you know, it's pretty easy to come up with some ways of boosting your numbers slightly obviously temperatures as well like if you if you calibrate it outside and then move it inside you know it's going to be different so there's loads of ways to do it which is why i just think it's stupid unless you have like a zwift verified bike which you literally give to everyone who wants to race but like that's too expensive it's never gonna happen it's just dumb and it's not racing and it's just cheap like it's just too easy to cheat and overall yeah i think it's it's not good um and one more point i think i want to make which maybe, I think most other people haven't done, but most people have compared this to conventional doping, which I have as well. But I think the best way to compare it would be, you know, in those multi-million, like, games for Fortnite, like those competitions. I obviously have not... Thing, sorry, I got cut off. Um, the best way to compare it is to actually compare it to other video games because Zwift is a video game it's not a sport in my opinion it's a video game which is the same as you know in Fortnite so what would they do if someone you know cheated to get level up to get a weapon to thing I mean they get disqualified so in that way you know it's, it's people are like oh it's not blood doing it's like yeah but you know, it's not blood doing true but like you know it is a video game maybe you cheated on the video game therefore you need expulsion and you know, a six-month ban probably is is the right way to go because you've got to you've got to make sure no one else is doing it if you want to treat it as a sport. But again, it's not it's not a sport. It's a stupid little thing. And like you know, people will say, oh, you know, like it's the future and stuff. It's like, well, it might be the future, but it doesn't mean it's like just because things like are going to get big. It doesn't mean they're actually good. Like, let's be honest, Zwift racing. There are many things I dislike about it, but the camera angles are horrendous. Commentators. Oh, so bad. I'm not even willing to talk about them. And, like, the drama's just not there. Like, it's, like, it's just not good. Like, 
in the final in Milan's down arena, it's just like you just can't like races like that, Plan is like you can't compare on Zwift. It's just like not the same and it never will be the same and people might think it's like good and stuff but like for me it's it's just not the same and the ability to cheat is just like i've named so many ways of cheating like i could literally probably make like an hour video maybe more on ways to cheat on swift like it's just so easy to do it if you if you want to i mean there's like weight doping and everything that's just it's just a joke so um yeah it's it's one of those things where you know, he's cheated on Zwift, he's a bit of a donkey, and now he's got banned for six months on the road. Will he lose his contract with St. Pierre? And I don't know. Probably not. I don't think it's really, I don't think anyone will really care. Maybe the sponsors will, but I doubt it. I mean, it's sort of like, if he wasn't who he was, it would be irrelevant. Like, it's just because he's on YouTube, I guess, that it's gathered more attention, really, than otherwise it would do. If it was Billy No Mates from the middle of nowhere, don't think I'd be making this video, would I? <laughs> really? Probably not. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Leave your comments as always below. Uh, and don't forget to like the video to boost up the old YouTube algorithms. See ya.